When it comes to uploading a video into your stream, there's a variety of ways you can do this. For example, on the home page, there's this button here, and this button appears in a number of pages, not just the home page, but that will upload a video. Another way to upload a video is to go to create and upload video here. So I'm going to go for this option. If I had a particular My Computer or Windows Explorer window open, I could drag files into here. But I'm just going to click the Browse option and I'm going to upload a file. And I might choose this one and open. It says at the moment at the top it's 0% complete. And now I can actually give this particular video while it's uploading a name. So I'm going to call this particular video introduction. And then create a description which clearly describes what the video is about. You can also add hashtags. And if you wanted to, you could also add web addresses. While the video is uploading, this percentage will slowly increase depending on the size of the video. Videos can take a while to upload because they are large files. It's then that we choose a video language. This video is in English, but I have the option to choose a language if the video wasn't in English. Currently, if the video is in English or Spanish, um, Stream will automatically create a closed caption for those two languages. Thumbnails will slowly load in this area here, and then we have permissions, so I'm going to click permissions. In permissions, I can allow everyone in the company to view this file or video, or I can choose a particular group, a particular channel, or a particular person, so I might choose a channel. And here, the channel that I'm after begins with M, so I'm going to press M. And these are the three channels I have that begin with M. The channel I want to put it in is the SharePoint channel, which happens to be a company-wide channel. So everyone in the company is going to be able to view this video if they want to anyway. But if I chose marketing, only those people who belong to that group or that channel would be able to view this. Sorry, those people who belong to the group which this channel was in. Anyway, I'm going to choose this channel. Here I have options, and what options will give me is I'm able to allow people to add comments, and if I click this button here, it explains. When comments are enabled, anyone can watch the video can also comment on it. If I click this option here, this will generate a timeline view of people in your video. So if there are people in the video, people will be able to watch the video and choose which person they want to watch by choosing it from a timeline. And we'll look at this later. So there's a people timeline, there's the ability to add comments. I do want it to automatically generate a caption file, so that's what that's about. And if I had a subtitle file, which was subtitles in another language, I would be able to upload that subtitle file by clicking here. If I click this option, I'm then able to choose a language, such as English, and then I'm able to select a file. So let's say I was going to select this particular file. So I'll choose this subtitle file, and I'll choose Open. And this will actually upload a subtitles file. It doesn't quite match the video, but I just wanted you to see that I had a subtitles file, which was for a particular video in Māori, and it's a VTT file. And I'll click OK. Eventually, um, it will continue to upload. What I might do is I can go off and do other things while it's uploading. So if I went to My Content and I went to Videos, I would see that it's still uploading this file. Well, actually, it has uploaded it. It now wants me to publish it. So I click the Publish button, and now this file will be published on this particular stream account. Finally, the video is actually loaded, and here it appears in my list of videos. I can see the name of it, I can see the description, and the fact that I actually put a hashtag, and the fact that I put a website. I can see here that the video is 3 minutes and 27 seconds. Here are some stats. Here I can see it's had zero views, whereas this one's had one view. Here I can see how many likes it's had, and here I can see how many comments have been added, and the last time it was viewed. If I was to click here, that would actually let me watch the video. These actions here allow me to add this video to my watch list. If I click that option, 
This video has now been added to my watch list. Instead of a plus, it's now an X, which means it's been added. If I was to click again, I would remove it from my watch list. Now, a watch list is a list of videos I want to come back to later and actually watch. And I can get access to my watch list by going to my content and going to watch list. But looking at these other action buttons, this option here allows me to add this video to a particular group and or channel. So I can click this option here and that's where I control whether it belonged to a particular group and or channel. This button here allows me to edit the video. So if I decided I wanted to change the description or the title or any of the details, I'd go into edit and I'd be returned to here. If I then go cancel, the, and then go back into Welcome to a series of videos by software and videos. And then I've got this button here, which is more actions. And it's from here that I could delete the video. I could download the original video, or I could share this video with somebody just by sharing this link. And if I shared this link, I'd be able to start the video at a certain number of seconds and or minutes. I could share it on social media, such as Yammer or I could email it to somebody. It's currently unavailable, but that option hopefully will be available shortly. In the meantime, I would simply email them this link. I could also embed it actually in a website or a SharePoint page. And I'll click close. So these are the sorts of actions you've got available to you. This allows you to view it. This is the last date it was viewed. And these are the various stats on this particular video. And that's how you upload a video to stream.